Hi, welcome to Motorcycle Tours to Spain, top tips. Received a couple of emails and the question was, what's the best kit for riding in Spain? So I thought I'll do a quick video to show you what I use. Of course, you can adapt and change it uh, as you see fit, but this is what I've come up with over the years and this is what I think works best for me. So starting over here, the basic stuff I'm gonna have on, obviously is a t-shirt, underwear, socks, and my riding jacket. So assume I've always got my t-shirt, underwear, socks on. I'm gonna have a helmet on. I ride with a flip front, that's a personal choice. Uh, gloves and boots. So starting with the gloves, I ride with these Knox Orsa gloves. And I only discovered these about 18 months ago. Uh, I love them because they're lightweight and they're extremely comfortable. They just fit my hand nicely. They're super vented, get a lot of airflow through here. I like the BOA closing system. But something else that attracted me to these gloves, which I didn't know about, are these sliders on your scapoids. I'm not an orthopedic surgeon. And they've done some research and a lot of motorcyclists damage their wrists when they fall off and your hand sticks and, and you sprain your wrist or you dislocate it or you break it. And the idea of those sliders is that it, it minimizes the chance of your hand gripping and it slides away and you save your wrist. And I quite like the sound of that because I don't bounce as well as I used to. Now, when I talk about falling off a bike, I don't necessarily mean when you're riding it, you can fall off at traffic lights or a roundabout or, or a coffee stop. You misjudge it, you get a pothole. I haven't dropped a bike for a few years, but statistically I'm probably due as we all drop bikes occasionally. Uh, so they're my gloves. I don't take winter gloves with me and I don't take waterproof over gloves with me. I've tried in the past, they just, it just takes up too much space. So if I find these vents too much and it's a bit chilly, I will put on an oversized pair of latex gloves which squeeze down and take up no space. And if push comes to shove, I will borrow a pair from the garage from near the diesel pump and I'll put those plastic waterproof gloves on. And it's just to stop that wind going through. And I find that is absolutely fine in Spain. Now, when I'm talking about any of this kit, I'm not talking about temperatures ever below eight degrees. I don't ride in the winter anymore. I used to as a kid. I have done in the past, but I don't need to ride in the cold now. So I don't. So there's my gloves. The next thing, a quick word on is motorcycle boots. These are former adventure boots. I've had these a couple of years. They're comfy. I like them. I think they offer a really good protection and support for the kind of riding I do, but I, I do have one problem with them. They're hot. They are hot in Spain. If they were to make a pair of these boots that were vented, I'd be front of the list. So to, to overcome as best I can the heat issue, I only ride with thin socks. Now you may need a thicker pair of socks to get down to Plymouth from wherever you're coming from in the country. The problem with that is that when you get off the ferry in Spain, you don't need these big thick socks on, you're going to be too hot. So you've got a storm in your panniers and thick socks can take up this much room. And I don't want to spare that much space for socks. So what I do is I only take thin socks. In Spain, I only wear one pair, but on the way down, I may wear two or three pairs of socks. So my socks can double up and serve more than one purpose. They can serve the purpose of a, of a winter sock or a summer sock. They're my boots. So if we took the coldest day I would probably ever ride in, I would obviously have my t-shirt underwear and socks on. I would then have my base layers on. My cotton trousers, I'd take the ones with the zip off legs to turn them into shorts. I could have a rugby shirt on, a sweatshirt, my motorcycle jacket and trousers. And if it's really cold or wet and I want to get rid of that wind coming through, I'll wear my rain gear as well. So at worst, the coldest day ever, I'll have all of that on. And obviously, the warmer it gets, I'll just drop a layer. Probably the first thing that I would, uh, wouldn't would wear if it was warmed up a bit is my sweatshirt and rugby shirt, so I'm not so bulky. I may then drop my base layers. Then if it's warmer still, probably what I'm gonna drop are the legs on my trousers, so I'll just wear those as shorts. So on the hottest day, I could just be wearing my T-shirt, underwear, socks, on my vented kit. We'll just talk about this vented kit a moment. It's got liners, but I don't take my liners to Spain. 
For the same reason I don't take thick socks. You may enjoy a liner on the way down to Plymouth, but when you get there, you don't need your liner. So now you've got to cart your liner around for two weeks and your liners are going to take up this much space. And it's space that I don't want to waste on a liner. So I don't take a liner to Spain. Show you how vented these are. Here we go, got a torch. They're super vented. The front panel is all mesh and down the side under the arms and down the arms as well. The trousers are the same down the front, round the crutch, down the sides and the back of the legs. So I get an awful lot of airflow through there. So if I'm riding on a typical Spanish day, a typical Spanish day, what I would be wearing, t-shirt, socks, underwear, pants, uh, shorts, and that kit. Now what we can do in Spain is we can uh, ride in the mountains and the altitude can, can change from 500 feet to six, seven, or even 8,000 feet in the space of, of 20 minutes or half an hour. And it can get chilly as you climb. So I don't particularly want to have to stop, take my jacket off, put a sweatshirt on, or put a rugby shirt on, put my jacket back on. So to overcome this problem, I'll carry my waterproof, windproof rain suit with me in a side bag in the pannier. So I'll just pull over the side of the road if it starts to get chilly, chuck this on, which takes a minute, and that cuts the wind out from going through my vent, and I'm plenty warm enough because when I start the descent down the other side, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, I'm going to be too hot. So I just pull over, whip this off, chuck it in the pannier, and I'm good to go again. I like to try and get things to double up. My liners don't double up. So if, if it is cold, uh, I could always, I don't know, add a base layer or add a rugby shirt. Now I can wear a rugby shirt out in the evening. I can wear it on the ferry. My base layers double up as pajamas if it's chilly in the evening. So try, if possible, to get more than one use out of the kit. I have ridden with this Oxford gear. I like Oxford gear, nothing wrong with it. It's cool stuff. Um, that's a nice jacket. I found this too hot in Spain, even without a liner and the vents, there's two vents on this on the front and there's two vents on the back. Even with these vents fully open on this Oxford kit, I couldn't get enough airflow through me. So I ended up undoing the zip and, and trying to ride like this to catch air, which wasn't the best, the best thing to do. It wasn't ideal. So I changed from that to the RST Pro Series. Uh, the the most famous, I suppose, the most famous vented jacket is probably the Knox Urban Pro. Uh, I haven't got one of those. I'm the wrong shape for it. Um, I'll try and get Natalie to show you her kit, the stuff that she chooses to ride with, because it's a very similar principle to mine, but there are one or two things she does a little bit differently. I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped, and uh, we'll see you over there. Hi, just before I go, I should have mentioned in the video, uh, and I didn't, was how easy the vented stuff can wash and dry. So if you're in Spain a couple of weeks, you don't want to get smelly. So the fact that this is, these jackets have got so much mesh on it, it's really easy just to give them a good blast down with a hose pipe, hang on the rails like you can see in this picture here, and uh, they're dry in a few hours and you can put a fresh set of motorcycle kit on the next day. Thanks for watching, guys.